is the raw materials for the extraction of iron hematite that is Fe2O3 so let's go into it the ore of iron is called hematite hematite is Fe2O3 and what is the meaning of ore ore is a substance which can be profitably and conveniently metals can be extracted from the ore once more what is an ore ore is a substance through which we can extract metals profitably and conveniently so your hematite fe2o3 is the ore main ore of iron so we get iron from hematite what is the formula of hematite fe2o3 next which substance contained in the raw material so what are the substance in the hematite so it consists of 60 percent of iron oxide fe2o3 with other impurities such as silicon oxide or in fact we call it as silicon dioxide so that is the ore where does the process of ext extraction take place this proce uh, process takes place in a tower called blast furnace we call the tower as blast furnace so let's move on to this blast furnace so this is the blast furnace this huge it is about 30 meters high a huge structure and uh, this is uh, it has bricks in the lining steel bricks and heat resistance bricks and steel outside so the heat is maintained inside it is a huge structure and there are two openings at the side for hot gases and one opening in the middle almost and then one opening at the side for hot air blast air to blast hot air and from the top we will put iron ore that is fe2o3 hematite we will put coke and we'll put limestone remember coke is uh yeah coke is actually the reducing agent it forms carbon monoxide and becomes a reducing agent so we give hot air very hot air from the side and that will burn the coke so this is the main diagram yeah i will send the powerpoint don't worry this is the main diagram of uh, the blast furnace once again it consists of a tall uh, tower which is about 30 meters high and this tower is uh, inside is lined with heat resistance brick to insulate the heat from coming out and then it has a steel lined lined with steel and uh, a lot of hot air is put inside and from the top what we put iron ore that is fe2o3 we put coke and we put limestone coke is c iron ore is fe2o3 and limestone is CaCO3 limestone is CaCO3 so these are the <coughs> Subst main substance over here this part if you look at this this is the main part that we look here this one this is the ore iron ore over there and then we have coke and then we have limestone in the extraction of uh, iron from the ore hematite so let's move on to the next uh, slide now this is the next slide just explaining how it works over there so bricks it shows the brick and it shows the ore limestone coke going in and how the waste gases comes out and then we have uh, the whole system at here we have a very high temperature 1700 1200 200 900 500 100 degrees celsius so as we go up the temperature will decrease because hot air is given from the side at the bottom now slag is here molten iron see iron coming out from the sand last this part iron uh, molten iron comes out and slag is over there we'll talk about the slag i'll explain you what slag is and then waste gases comes out from the top uh, waste gases comes out from the top and again uh, showing you how ore and limestone and coke is put ore is fe2o3 limestone is calcium carbonate and coke is c so <clears throat> let's move on to the next powerpoint 
substances are put in the blast furnace so from the top we are putting substances the process starts by blowing in hot air at the bottom of the furnace so we will see we are blowing hot air from the bottom of the furnace coke burns in oxygen from the hot air producing carbon dioxide so uh, coke the the coke that we put from there when it goes there from the hot air it starts to burn and it will form carbon dioxide so c plus o2 coke plus oxygen will give you carbon dioxide heat makes limestone decompose into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so when lot of heat is given calcium carbonate breaks down to calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so here what happens when we put limestone it the calcium carbonate will break down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide coke burns in oxygen from the hot air producing carbon dioxide so c plus o2 carbon plus oxygen will give you carbon dioxide now the uh, limestone that is there because of the heat limestone will break down into calcium carbonate plus uh, sorry limestone that is calcium carbonate will break down into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide if, so i'm changing now let's move on to the next slide now carbon dioxide produced goes up the furnace and reacts with more coke up there producing carbon monoxide so uh, over here when we have carbon dioxide form it will go more up and again react with more coke and then at this place at this region if you look at this region let me make it so at this region over here it will start to form more <clears throat> it will start to form more it will react with more coke and carb and it will form carbon monoxide which is the real reducing agent so remember that so let's move on again to this so carbon dioxide produced goes up the furnace and reacts with more coke up there producing carbon monoxide so co2 plus c will give you carbon monoxide please write down the equation after i explain this to you carbon monoxide is the reducing agent so what is carbon monoxide doing how is it a reducing agent it will take away the oxygen it will remove the oxygen from whom it will remove the oxygen from the ore iron hematite so you'll see in the equation carbon monoxide rises up the furnace where it melts iron oxide and starts reducing it producing iron and carbon dioxide so it will produce iron and carbon dioxide so fe2o3 plus 3co will give you fe plus carbon dioxide so see how carbon monoxide has reduced iron that means it has removed the oxygen from there so the real reducing agent is carbon monoxide now iron is formed after iron is being formed let's go back to the diagram again so after iron is formed being very dense it will come down and then it will come down and settle at the bottom so if you look at it uh, from here it will come down and then it will go down there so iron oxide uh, molten iron being denser it will accumulate over here the molten iron at the bottom so you can see over here where it can be taken out from this outing this out outline pipe so molten iron form which will being denser it will gradually come down from there and go and come out from the outing outline or uh, the pipeline uh, outline pipe from the bottom so that's how the molten iron can be taken out from the blast furnace so let's move on to that and uh, this is how uh, iron comes out calcium oxide another thing that we put in the blast furnace is calcium oxide which was produced from the thermal decomposition of limestone is a base so calcium oxide how did calcium oxide form when we heated when calcium carbonate was broken down decomposed uh, because of the heat it broke down into calcium oxide and carbon dioxide so this calcium oxide which was produced from thermal decomposition of limestone is a base so it will react with the impurities of hematite what is the main impurity in the hematite fe2o3 it is silicon 
dioxide which is acidic forming calcium silicate so here you will see calcium oxide will react with silicon dioxide forming calcium silicate which is a slag with the impurity and so if you look at the diagram again this slag here it will come down and it will settle here this is the slag because it is less dense than molten iron it will form form here and we can take out the impurities from here so slag but this slag formation is very important one thing is that it if it was not above iron iron would have oxidized again into iron oxide so slag prevents the oxidation of molten iron further into iron oxide so slag does a very important thing one thing it's getting overall is getting rid of the impurity and secondly it is also uh, above the molten iron so it prevents the molten iron from getting further oxidized so it has a very useful work so in this way uh, slag is taken out from the top so here the same thing what we wrote molten iron and slag produced trickle down and settles at the bottom of the furnace iron is denser than slag so it settles beneath it so you can see that iron and slag are tapped off separately that is taken out at regular interval and this iron is known as pig iron is collected from the bottom because iron or iron molten iron that comes out it looks like the feces of pigs so it is known as pig iron waste gases such as carbon dioxide formed in the process and nitrogen and other gases from the air blow in escape at the top of the furnace so the waste gases they come out from the top of the furnace from here so they get rid of it from the top of the blast furnace so uh, this is how <coughs> the whole process goes on and uh, those five equations you should know very well 